Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Rivals. There has been a topic swirling around in our brains. Because of other things we've been talking about, we wanted to talk about stereotypes in gaming. More importantly, we want to know or want to discuss if they still exist or if we can debunk them. Or have you ever been subject to a stereotype that somebody has placed upon you? Yeah, so we're gonna talk about all these stereotypes, potentially our experiences, Oh yeah. And a little bit of research we did. All right. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about in no particular order because some of these will be, I guess, higher on the list than others. I don't know about you guys, but when I was younger, I heard gaming would rot your brain. I don't know how many times I've yeah. heard older people say, you're gonna play those video games game. all day. They're yeah, gonna rot your brain. Or like watching too watching much TV. TV, rot your brain, everything gonna rot your brain. In fact, there has been scientific studies that yes. show that gaming actually improves cognitive, make me say big words. Cognitive? <laughs> Skills, as yes. I'm going for. Uh, perception. Yeah. Yep, problem solving. Problem yep. solving, yeah. Uh, and it's not just they did a telephone survey or whatever, send in, no, actual MRIs. Yeah. And I had read one study where they had a group of people play a game for 30 minutes. I do believe it was a N64 game, possibly. Oh, yeah. 30 minutes a day and two test groups. One that did, one that did not. And the test group that did, their cognitive and all these abilities that they were testing for actually ranked higher. So, you know what? I think there is a middle ground here where I'm sure there's probably some situations where you're like, okay, maybe you need to play, do something else and play games. Yeah. But in healthy amounts, I think gaming is actually healthy it's, for it's your like brain. Everything, you know, everything in moderation. Mm -hmm. You know, there, I'm sure there are unhealthy amounts of it. Yeah. You know? And I think we're coming through a period of this <clears throat> that it's not looked at on as unfavorably. I was thinking 10 years ago, 20 years ago, it was really rough. It was, yeah, when we were kids, there, we were told it was going to rot our brains. Yes. You know, and it was... In uh, the 80s, I don't think it was as bad, but in the 90s... 90, well, it really started picking up in the 90s there. Like, yeah, like you know. mid, late 90s yep. was a hard time to be a gamer. The next thing on the list. Gamers are fat and lazy. <laughs> this is a double-edged sword. Now my argument is that there are professional athletes that game all the time. Mm -hmm. I have, Dennis has actually told me of a professional ba uh, baseball player that would play um, a game on the, the great big screen on the sky dome there. Tech Buzz had live stream yesterday and had a professional wrestler on his yes, channel. Yes, um, his name is Stevie Richards. I think so. Or that's what his And he loves the game. Was. He came on the channel yeah. because he's a gamer. Is he fat or lazy? Uh, I uh, no. Um, YouTuber we know. Have you ever seen his thumbnail? Chill scissors looks like freaking John Cena there. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it depends on what else you do with your time. Yeah. Sure, is there probably some gamers that are sure? But are there probably some people that are that don't game? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So that's subjective. You when can't... I was in my 20s, I was in a hell of a lot better shape. And you gamed? And I gamed, yeah. Yeah. But I was also a gym rat, but you know, my downtime, my fun time I would be gaming. I think that's completely debunked. I don't think there's... I don't think that's... No, yeah. that's total stereotyping because yeah. anybody could be out of shape and overweight no matter if they game or not. Okay, another one that I found was interesting, and I don't know if it's as prevalent now, but I would still say a lot of people think not many women video game, or that the number of men that video game out like, greatly outweigh. I, when I think that, that, I think, like, I always go back to our YouTube uh, statistics there. Our statistics are men, probably from 35 to 45, and it's like 99% of our viewers are men. Are men, exactly. Yep. I also did some research on this as well, and I was kind of shocked. I was when you told me. There, in 2017, there was a survey <laughs> done. I don't know at what length. They said that it is an estimated 40% Forty-six percent. Forty-six percent of gamers are women. That's crazy. That is crazy. I don't know if we just as a society don't think as many women game, and I really do believe this. It's it's a little bit more frowned upon for women, for mothers, to game. 
Maybe it's just more women have to stand up and say, yeah, I game, so what? Do, what does it matter? Is it a shameful thing for women? It's not for me, but no. then again, I'm 40 and I don't I, give I, a fuck. I so. feel... <laughs> this, body mode. I it's feel true, if 46% of gamers are women, then it's a very hush hush crowd it could be i had no idea what do the viewers think what do you guys think there like i had no idea that 46 percent of the gamers out there were women and i and i question your statistics uh number four gaming promotes violence they i uh, that's bs they've tried this because one. they've tried that with movies tvs uh music videos just because i play call of duty doesn't mean i'm gonna go get a gun and <laughs> video games aren't the problem. The, That's no. the least of the problem. No. If, There's you know. lots of other problems out there that you could yeah. look at first uh, than video games. I I don't want to get into... Do you think that bullying is the result of violent video games? No, it's the result of... Whole life. Your whole life. You know, I can't say that for certain, but I think most people would probably agree. I think so, maybe. You know, yeah. you bully because, or you're violent because you're upset about something. Gamers are not typically upset. We're usually having a good time. Well, there's games that make me upset there. No, but, but the, yeah, you I get my rage out there and then I'm done. You know? And you know the difference between a game well, yeah. and, and real life. I don't know. I don't, have, I don't buy into that at I all. Don't I don't buy into it either. either and there's been plenty of studies out there that totally debunk that so i don't think we have to go into that any no, further no, no. Done. gaming is a waste of time i hear i want to say it right now yeah if i were to sit in the lunchroom at work and talk about i spent my entire saturday playing through a game mm -hmm. and i spent 12 hours you know I'm an adult. How all of, how much time do I have of that? I don't. People would be like, would look at me like I'm crazy, you are... or you're lazy, or whatever, or that's, you have no life. Yeah. But if I ask the same group of people in the lunchroom, how many people binge watch Netflix series? Just sit in front of a screen with another screen in your hand. Or how, and we live in the Maritimes where there's lots of snow. How many oh, people yeah. could say to you, I went snowmobiling for 12 hours. That's so, not my thrill there. It's not. But how is that any different? I'm just playing the same snowmobiling situation. <laughs> from I could play it with a wheel. I could get a wheel and play a racing game. It's yeah. the exact same thing. I could turn the heat off here, be cold. Sure, let's do that. Because honestly, you're sitting there for 12 hours stopping, <laughs> drinking, going again. Like, if that's what makes you happy, I am happy for you. Yeah. But you can't there judge me like when I decide I'm going to sit down and play a game for 12 hours. That's not fair. Yeah. But it happens. <clears throat> it oh, yeah. happens all the time. Just because you think it's acceptable and society thinks it's acceptable, it's acceptable. No, that's your personal opinion. Yep. I just want everybody to be happy no matter what you do. As long as you don't hurt anybody you know else, what? hurt yourself or anybody else, and have fun. Have your fun. Life short. Got a little heated there. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the list, gaming is a waste of money. I have heard this mentioned to me a few times. Yeah. I will say what I picked up in my collection and I'll hear somebody will say I, ju I just get stressed out at how much money you waste almost word for word ah! <laughs> and I'm like what how much money I waste like just because that person views uh, playing games or collecting games as mm -hmm. a waste of money then it doesn't mean it's a waste of money to me That's yes. my hobby like, plus you your hobby is going to actually gain value probably right probably what you mentioned before was snowmobiling. snowmobiling. Yeah. Well, there's also like people with four wheelers and stuff like that. To buy, to get started in that, it yeah. is tens of thousands of dollars. I know? can name several hobbies that would cost you lots of money to get started, but just to get outside of mm -hmm. gaming, I love hiking. So if you want to go ultralight hiking and get like an ultralight pack, tent, all that stuff, oh, you could easily yep. spend thousands. Mm -hmm. Easily, easily. You want to play hockey here in Canada? Whew. It's not cheap. It's not cheap to put your kids in hockey, and I know it's athletic there, and yeah. you're getting exercise and all that stuff, but I'm just telling you. A lot of parents up hobby. here will force their kids into hockey, hoping they're going to be the next Wayne Gretzky there, and spend thousands of dollars yeah. a year. And you know what? I think there's a lot of emphasis put on doing stuff. like. Being active and doing stuff, yeah. and but I think there's room for having fun. 
it's not really a waste of money to me and I think anybody watching this channel is probably feeling the same way. Uh, next, gamers are introverts and social outcasts. I would consider myself an introvert, and I think you probably would agree. And I don't think you're necessarily an introvert. Just don't like people. <laughs> we have... It takes me a long time to warm up to somebody. Yes, so. but it's just that you're feeling at the situation. Yeah, I don't trust anybody. No. <laughs> Everybody's an asshole until they prove that they're not an asshole. I think <laughs> the whole reason for this gamers or introverts or social outcasts is this. That's how you're choosing to spend your time, then you're probably not going out there and interacting a whole lot. I think introvert. that this probably comes from like, you know, the 80s, 80s and, 90s and 90s and stuff like that. But now we have conventions. Now we have, yeah. well, I, I hope we'll have conventions again when, oh, I hope so. you know, COVID goes away. Yep. There's so many people that game. There's platforms for people that game. There's conventions for people that game. There's, There's professional tournaments. Tournaments for people that game. So I think a lot of gamers have already come out of the shadows. So I, I think that today's generation of kids uh, don't understand. Back then, it was the uh, it was the kids that were not athletic, we'll call them, or the nerds or whatever, that really were drawn to games. Yes. And were kind of social outcasts. Like, I think this all comes from... It's because we kids. you could dive into a game you and escape into a world where you yep. could be the conqueror, you could be the hero, yep. you could be anything you wanted to be. You didn't have to con conform to the social norms outside of that game. And I think there's a lot more understanding. Uh, it's a way of an escape. It's, it's, a, it's an escape. Our yeah. son went through the same thing there. So I just don't know how taking games away is good games in moderation yes you mm -hmm. should everything should be in moderation when the pandemic hit and we're going into lockdown uh, i've seen so many memes that people are alive and say i'm a gamer i'm fine i'm fine i'm, fine. Yeah. I'm just in my basement playing my games yeah. or whatever. exactly and guess what <laughs> we couldn't find any damn games because you know, nobody was trading anything no and all you non-gamers all of a sudden became gamers became <laughs> nostalgic and you know what sitting on the couch doing nothing gamecube be fun just jack up the prices of gamecube yeah, exactly. So, there you go. Uh, second last one. Gamers live at home in their parents' basement. <laughs> Boy, I can't tell you a mortgage payment my mom ever made on my basement. This was the almost word for word. This comment was made while we were talking to the tech bud. Because if you guys are familiar with his basement, he has an arcade. Oh my basement. god, amazing. And he was telling us somewhere, something along the lines of like, when he talks to people about how many games he held, that they automatically think that he's living with his mom or something no, like that, he's right? he's just successful. Yeah, he's just, he's, he's successful. He enjoys what he does. He, and he... Uh, uh, wants to uh, show his kids or, or wants to be able to play the same games that he enjoyed when he was young. Yeah. It's it's all nostalgia. I'm sure that goes back to the like social outcast situation where yeah. they, okay, well now you're hiding in the basement. Okay, you grew up, you lived in the basement, you stayed there. <laughs> we grew up, did uh, many of us game in the basement? Yeah, because they wouldn't let you use the main TV. Like, go down to the basement. Yeah, get out of here. Go yeah, on. I'm yeah. trying to watch my soaps on my shows. Nerds were pale, so they couldn't get <laughs> <bad. laughs> I'm still pale. <laughs> they had to go to the basement where they wouldn't have to worry about direct sunlight. Oh, that's right? dirty. I'm just kidding. But I think it's gone. I think that's gone. Now you have man caves or like just cool just game rooms game in your rooms. basement. Yeah. All right, what's the last stupid thing you got here? Gamers don't do anything else but game. And I actually put a tweet out because somebody had asked us on the live stream, besides gaming or YouTube, what yeah. else do you do? Everybody had an answer. Well, yeah. No, we don't all I, just I answer. think the most common comment we get from talking to people, uh, like especially our Get to Know Gamer series, is that they wish they had more time to game. And that's why I hope you know? people will continue to game into their retirement years because those you'll so. have time yeah. you'll definitely have time no we don't just all game and that's all we do you and i both work full-time jobs you we, work two jobs i work two jobs we do this youtube channel youtube it is this it's is a hobby a lot of work i love to be active mm -hmm. in the summer i love to hike I, I have so many hobbies. I like to paint. I like to sew. <laughs> I, it's hard for me to have time for all my hobbies is the problem. And you're the same way. So, no. Gamers don't just 
game. We have other things we like to do. Just like yeah. people that like to do anything else don't just do that. That has been nine touching points or topics on stereotypes for gamers or gaming in general. <clears throat> have, if you've ever been subject to the, one of these, um, that would be comment, or if there are some that we have forgotten. Yeah. If you guys want to do a reply video to this or a video response, even if you just want to tell us a story about one of a stereotype story, yeah. that would be fantastic. And how you got over it or grew past it. It's a fun topic because I think I think there are I think most of them are gone. It's their stereotype for it. I well, think I mean, think there's some truth to how stereotypes start, but I don't yeah. think they are relevant anymore. I don't think, I, I think almost all of those are, it's garbage. All it's right. just garbage. All right, till next time, guys. All right. Game on or do whatever else you want to do. Yeah, do it. I don't care. <laughs> you won't be a stereotype to us. Well, maybe. Yeah.